Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So let's just jump straight into it. Is it worth buying salvage Copart toys? Um, my own personal view is definitely. Um, you can buy them generally a lot cheaper, whether you're in Canada or all the states. Um, generally, you just got to go. I mean, it's not a, a question of can you fix it. You've already, I've already bought this, so I, I believe I can fix it. Um, but it's going over the uh, as much detail as with the photos and so on. If you can't make it to do a viewing, it's generally going over the photos is the best you can do. Um, with this one, they had uh, burn was the main damage on it. Um, so once we got it home, we went through it. I already pulled this out. So it was basically the muffler. Looks like it just got too hot for some reason. Um, burnt out the box. We damaged the uh, back of the uh, brake light, so we chosen to replace that. And melted the actual uh, connection on there, um, and then the tank. I've chosen to replace as well. Uh, it just unsure if it was compromised or not, so it was just better to replace it. So, with buying all the replacement uh, parts, this only came to like three hundred dollars. So if that's where you stopped, I mean, I got this for 6,500. So at 6,800, you'd have uh, a reasonably still cheapish uh, side by side. I mean, I looked up what these go for, and generally they go for about 10 to 13,000 at the top end. Um, and that, I'm planning to do a bit more with it because I'm going to keep this one. It's not for resale, um, so I'm going to put a few more things in for myself and that. But uh, yeah, so let's get these uh, parts in and see if I can get this going today. Okay, gas tanks in. Um, gonna put a bit of gas in, see if we can get this thing started. I'm just gonna 
clean up this brake while I don't want to shorten that or anything so we're just going to cut the end off that open her up there it's going to be short let's get some gas in her Okay, let's see if she starts up. Smokey boys, well she starts. Okay, next project. Um, going to, rather than placing the whole wire in there, which would be kind of pointless, because that's like a $200, $300 jobby. I've gone and actually bought another connector. Even with the shipping, the shipping costs more than the actual connector. So all up I think it was about 30 bucks. Um, but still a lot cheaper than the two or three hundred to get a used wiring loom. So as you can see, pretty identical. So all I'm gonna do is splice wires into the old ones, hook this up, we'll run another uh, tape this together and, and put another uh, conduit over top of it and yeah that'll save us a lot of money so let's get into that I'm going to choose two solder wires to the end of these you could if you don't have uh, access to a soldering iron you could still use um, auto connectors the crimp type or uh, crimp type whatever you like um, your choice I've got a soldering iron so I'm going to do it this way you can choose how you do it. And basically we'll copy the same wiring and connections as this one. Um, I can't really tell from the other one's so burnt, so I'm just going to copy that. And yeah, cross fingers, hope it works.
So we just picked up auto wire from a local store around here. So I just, I've got black, white of the original wire and there's a purple red, which I couldn't get. So I've just gone with red. So that was all about uh, close to 30 bucks. Still cheaper than buying another wire. Room. Okay, here's our replacement wires. I've made them a little longer. Uh, I'll cut them shorter once we get there and uh, to the end there. Once these are all soldered in, we'll see how long we need it. See if we have power. Beautiful. That's how you save yourself 300 bucks. So now we'll go ahead and we'll actually secure them in the actual connector. There you go, simple. Save yourself a lot of money. Okay, I think uh, it's late in the evening now, so I'm gonna probably come back tomorrow. We'll uh, finish putting the brackets back in here. Uh, hook these wires up, we'll put that water temp sensor in. Um, top up the coolant again. And, uh, We'll see if we get it running a bit smoother. Okay, catch you guys in the morning. Okay, welcome back. This is the next day. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to put the water temp sensor in. It was it was missing one when I got it, 
for whatever reason they're taking it out. We may find out the uh, why they took it out. We don't know yet. Um, if there was a problem in there somewhere, but we'll put this back in a new one today. We'll chuck these uh, cross members back in. Screw those back down. We'll use the old uh, muffler for now, and we'll put that back in so she's not so noisy. And we'll see if we can get it idling. That's my biggest uh, thing today. If we can get that idling, uh, then we can move on with the cool stuff. So let's get on with it. So I've been trying for the last hour to get this thing going, running, just on idle. Um, seems to be missing like almost on one cylinder. Uh, I've changed the spark plugs, I've changed out the fuel just to be sure. Um, we'll start it up and let you uh, have a listen. Yeah, I can't get it to idle. No, I have to keep my foot on the uh, throttle there to keep it. Um, it sort of smooths out a bit more around two and a half thousand RPM to three, but it's definitely kind of like it's missing. So I'm not too sure why it's missing. Um, again, replaced the spark plugs already, so uh, I'll just have to do a bit of research on that and see what we can come up with. Um, Hopefully not a big problem. We will see. Ah, um, tune in next time. See where we're at. 
and get this thing going or not. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.